channel my name is adenike olakule i'm also known as the sentinels for those who are seeing me for the first time today i'm going to be answering one of the frequently asked um questions for um some people who entered into my dm on instagram and i thought to just um, address this and somebody left a comment on one of my previous videos so i thought to just talk about it elaborately from the topic of today you already know what i'm going to be talking about and if you are interested please keep watching before we proceed i'd like to say thank you to everyone who subscribed to this channel already please if you are yet to subscribe this is the time for you to hit that subscription button or me and you we will fight though. I'm a jow, we will fight though. Yeah. Let's subscribe now. I don't know. Does this thing cost money? It doesn't, right? Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you. How to secure a house um, for rent in the UK. As you know, as a first timer, I'm just coming, I don't know what to expect or I am living somewhere now. I'm afraid to move out. I don't know. Or maybe you are living in the hospital accommodation or your employer gave you an accommodation and you are just looking for how you are going to go about it. I am qualified to give you this um, advice because I've secured accommodation for myself um, within these last two years in the UK. I think based on my personal experiences, I'm going to be um, addressing that. So if you'd like to know more, please keep watching. So I wrote it down because I don't want to forget a bit of it. The first step when you are looking for an accommodation is to decide what type of accommodation do you want. There are different types of accommodation in the UK and depending on your need or depending on the size of your family you can decide on which what type of um, accommodation you want um, the first one i will mention is house share this can be a flat where there are three or four bedrooms in an apartment or up to four or up to six rooms in an apartment and this is ideal for single people or just a, a couple where they don't have children you have to find out if couples are allowed or couples are not some out share they allow couples some out share they don't allow couples in the out share you have a general kitchen you have sometimes general bathroom and toilet and you have a common sitting room like you know a, a sitting room or reception room for everyone and in some other house share you can be lucky to have your own bathroom in your own room and your toilet in your own room so it can be a suit and it can be that you are sharing only kitchen and and um, the sitting room with other people that's what our share is the second one is a studio apartment in a studio apartment is is more or less like what we call a self-contained in nigeria um in this studio apartment you have your personal toilet personal bathroom personal kitchen sitting room and you know everything is all encompassing in one big room so if you want to demarcate it after securing it you can then go ahead and put a curtain or something just to demarcate it as a a sitting room and a and a and a bedroom but um ideally they just leave it you know like that you can see yourself you can be looking as you are cooking you are seeing yourself you know you are it is everything is in the same place that's what a studio apartment is the third one is the flat we have from one bedroom flat to up to six bedroom flats i mean i've seen six bedroom flats i've seen four bedroom flats three bedroom flat two bedroom one bedroom you know and um depending on the size of your family you can decide on which one you are going to take and this flat it can be a bungalow in a terrace in a cottage in a duplex you know it could be um three stories four stories and everybody just have their flats to themselves you know so that is what that is the second thing is to decide whether you want a furnished or an unfurnished 
apartment furnished apartment is the one that comes with everything that you should have in a house for example you will have the um, washing machine the cooker the um, dryer in some places you have the dining sometimes you have all the furnitures in the house in fact some furnished apartment used to have bed frames where you just bring your own mattress or some people they will have everything if you don't mind you know for for a first timer who doesn't have enough money to buy all of these things at once or you just think that you don't like to carry load you just want to carry only your box maybe you can go for a furnished house right the an unfurnished one in the uk is um that i have seen so far you can have only cooker in some unfurnished house i had to buy my washing machine my fridge freezer my furnitures and um, every other thing that i should buy i bought them by myself you know um I, like i said it's dependent on what you want so decide if you want an unfurnished or furnished apartment the disadvantage of getting a furnished um, furnished apartment is that if you spoil anything your deposit is going to be deducted you will have to pay for anything that you damage in that house but if you bring your own thing when you are leaving you are probably going to pay money for maybe painting or you know depending on how clean or how if you have children in the house it's not about how clean you are children can put things on the wall and all of that we'll get to that point in a shared accommodation the um, bills are usually inclusive and they are already furnished um you know you have your once you pay your house rent you have paid your wi-fi you have paid for electricity you have paid for your water gas you have paid for your um what else you have paid for your council tax all inclusive the fourth thing to consider is the location that you want do you want a location that is close to the city or town center do you want where it is close to all the shops or do you want somewhere where it is close to um the schools for people that have children do you want where it is close to your um maybe your workplace you decide on the location you want um some locations used to affect prices so if you are close to the city center you know that your house rent will be higher than someone who is far away from the city center houses around hospitals are usually expensive as well now that you have checked the um, the type of accommodation, whether furnished or furnished, the location. The next thing you need to check is to go to the website where you can get the houses. I'm going to drop all the links to the letting agent or the website where I search for houses. Um, I'm going to drop them in the description box and you can see them floating on the screen as well. When you get to the website, based on those things that I mentioned earlier, you will see where they will ask you for the criteria do you want it one mile away from this postcode or you know like that you will see all the criteria they are self-explanatory and i can do a screen record of how you can how to put all these criteria and i will put it in somewhere in this video after your search is complete and you have seen some houses on the website that you like the next thing is to send email or call the letting agent to make some inquiries. So what I usually do is that I'll say, hello, my name is this. I am a nurse. I work with this so, so, so hospital and I am interested in this apartment. It's short as that. So after both parties are cool, you have, you have booked a slot to come and view the house. The next thing is to go and view the house now. You know, because of this lockdown and the COVID-19 thing, some houses, some agencies are not doing um, physical viewing and you have to, you have to um, do a video call or they send you a video that they have recorded for the house. Either ways, I, you will have to open your eyes wide and if you, if anything is not clear, make sure you ask your questions before you proceed to pay 
them any depot just ensure that you look out for everything in a standard house should have um the eater you should have a boiler the electricity box is where the gas meter is you know those are the things you need to look for and then look at the window is the window double glaze is it um because if you if you take a house where um all the window all the everywhere is window it's cold though <laughs> it's cold though you are playing with cold though so you know just make sure you look around you know look if you are taking a furnished apartment make sure you look at all the furnitures look at the washing machine look at everything because if you come in and you know you don't you, you didn't um, notice all of that you are going to pay for any damages um, so it is okay, it is very very important to open your eyes wide when you are looking when you are doing a house viewing. And if you have any question, make sure you ask your questions before um, you move in before they take any deposit from you. Make sure you check everything. Make sure you are satisfied at least with what you can see. After you have done the viewing, they will ask you. If you are interested after viewing and say oh, yeah 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 you are you are interested once you say you are interested they would want to collect some withholding deposits so that they can take the house away from the market and they will start doing your checks so once you pay your withholding deposits you can't back out that's why I said you should look well because once you pay a withholding deposit it's not refundable so look before you pay that deposit after paying the deposit they would ask you for your identity they will ask you for your passport your biometric your employment they will they will do all the identity check in some places if they think that the house is more expensive or compared to your salary they will ask you for a guarantor make sure you use somebody that will respond as fast as possible because until your guarantor respond though and make sure you use somebody that is already here and they already have the um, connection because they are going to ask for your re for your guarantors um, references like you know manager at work and everything and everything it's you know it's me I don't like all this guarantor thing I've never had to use guarantor but I have had um, uh, people who use guarantor and I know how stressful it was for them so I would say that you know just make sure you use someone that can respond swiftly and that will not mind the stress and once all of that is completed the next thing is that I would advise that you make sure that you get a house that satisfies your you to some extent to the point that you may not look at moving out in six in six or one year in six months or one year because number one how long you have lived in an accommodation can contribute to your credibility in the UK at one point or the other you are going to be needing to buy things on credit buy a phone on credit buy this one on credit even appliances on credit so how long you have lived in in an in an accommodation can determine how credible you are so they usually ask for your address in the last three years so if you if you have lived in more than three houses in three in three years it that's too much now so but we didn't know all these are the things i didn't know when i moved in here and that is why i'm telling you now when you are getting an accommodation get the one that satisfies you to some extent such that you don't have to move in uh you don't have to move in now and move out in another three months or two months or less than six months so i would say that uh, make sure everything is intact so when they send you the agreement make sure you look 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 very well because once you sign that agreement you are bound by that contract and if you are going to break the contract when it is not yet time you will have to pay for the house until they get another um occupant or you pay them one month's rent in advance either ways you are going to lose money and they are going to have your deposit though at hand so once you you, are, you clarify all of those things they are going to ask you to pay your um your first rent 
So your first rent is usually one month rent plus two weeks or another one month um, rent. For example, let's say your house rent is four hundred pound in a in a month. When you are paying your first month rent, you can pay six hundred or eight hundred. That makes it either six weeks or one uh, two month um, house rent. What that deposit is for is just like a security for the agency or the landlord such that if you go bankruptcy and you are not able to pay their 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 rent in the next one month they will just use that one to say that okay oh you are going you you can go we'll use this one to do your rent or if you are going uh, you spoil something in the house they use they deduct part of that money and they give you your balance the money is usually kept with um, with deposit scheme. They secure it with a deposit scheme such that both parties are aware of the state of things. So when you are leaving, they are going to return the money back to you. Once they remove a reasonable uh, deduction, let's say you you something spoiled the floor or the paint is faulty due to your uh, your your carelessness they will remove the money but of course they know that these things are transparent they can't just remove money that does not have um re re reason you know so that's it and i'll say that another reason why you should be satisfied before you move into a house is that it is really not easy to get a house like that especially during this covid season it is not um, easy to be moving houses and be arranging things and be packing things and unpacking things. It's not easy. The next thing to do is to determine when do you want to move in and you pay, you collect the key. You can agree on when you want to move in. If they don't want, they will tell you that, oh, that's too long. Everybody will share, agree, share. Sure you get what I'm saying? When you are moving in, me, I usually take pictures. As I'm from the entrance, I take pictures of everything I meet in the house and I do videos. So when I'm leaving, I have a proof. They have a proof. I have a proof that this is the way I met things. And if I find anything faulty within 48 hours, because anything after that, you can, you can, they can say you are the one that caused it. So, I, and I don't do it by phone call. I do email. They are so, 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 so agents. When I moved in yesterday, I noticed this, 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 this. This is the way this, 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 the shower is not working or the, the cooker is not working. You know, just to be on the safe side. Make sure you take pictures. Make sure you do videos of how you met things before you move in. Another thing that is usually a challenge is who will help you move your loads. If you don't have a car and you probably you are alone and you have a few things to move, I would say that um, you can go to Facebook Marketplace uh, for your town, for that town or city. Just type in man and van. I will show you like a, I will show you like a video of how I search through. And you can ask your colleagues. You'll be shocked that somebody has someone that can help you. Compare your prices and agree on when you are moving. So that will bring me to the end of this video. If you have been in the UK and you are you have a better experience or a better way on how people can rent a house, please feel free to drop the comments in the in the comment section. And if you have further questions, feel free to ask me also. Thank you so much, guys. I hope this one will help someone. And I'll be looking forward to see you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video share it with a friend share it with a colleague and i'll see you in my next video and follow me on instagram at the scent nurse on twitter at the scent nurse i use my facebook really but you can still search for the scent nurse and i'll see you in my next video bye